I initially wanted to just create a YouTube short about how amazing Leora is, but I think that would be doing you guys a disservice. So instead, I'm going to walk you through my thought process about why I built her the way I did, and I'm going to give you guys 5 tips to take away to make sure she performs at her best in all PvP contents. You're probably asking, why don't you cover her applications in PvE? Well, two reasons. One, you could simply head over to the Ultimate Spires tab and straight up copy someone else's homework. I know, because I do that and I heavily recommend that you do the same. Two, I mentioned before in my previous video that she is pretty stat hungry when it comes to gearing her, making her not very friendly if you're just starting out. You can check out that video here, or in the link down in the descriptions below. Trust me, I won't be making this video if I wasn't certain Leora isn't so good. And yes, I've done a ton of testing with her in every PvP format there is in this light, so you can be assured that this guide is going to be the real source. I mean, you don't have to agree with everything I have to say, and that's totally fine. Just know that I'm a top ranking player in this light, primarily in real time PvP, and I'm just sharing my experience with her and giving you the tips I have learned throughout using her. And so I'm gonna cover her applications in PvP, where the game is way more exciting than just beating up an AI. Buddy, you're just a cheap fucking knockoff. If you're a PvP enjoyer, make sure to boop the like button and tell me in the comments down below what is your favorite PvP content. But before I dive into my thought process, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, she is R6. Nani? Don't have to R6 her like I did to match my stat line. In fact, the entire reason I R6 her was because of how she overperformed without Rezos. So I thought I'd give her a little love. Just follow along with the concepts behind it and gear her according to the tips I'm about to share with you and she'll function just fine. Alrighty then. So let's dive into it. As you can see, I've built Leora as a bruiser but slightly towards the damage side. Boom! All she really needs is enough bulk to take a hit or two and not die. Stand there! Unfazed! And she'll go into invincibility and stand off. You just want her to have enough bulk but to be under that 50% threshold if she gets hit so that she can get that 2 turn standoff that she gets from War Goddess. That way, she is truly indestructible. And so, the first tip I want to give you guys is making sure that you focus on building her DPS output first. That means starting with her attack, then crit rate, then crit damage. Her attack is important because the shield she gives under War Goddess is based on her attack. I'm sure you've heard a lot of people say that that shield is far all, but listen. Coming from an actual top ranking player in almost anything PvP, that shield they consider far all is literally the gap between your team surviving or dying. I can't stress enough how significant mitigating damage is, no matter how little, it is still mitigating damage, so you take it. Which brings me to my second point, which is to get that 100% crit rate. Her crit rate also plays a massive role in dealing a ton of damage. You're going to be under War Goddess, and your damage is amplified the greater the crit rate gap. This is how she one taps Jin Yu Yao's and Sally so easily with her S2. So seriously, do yourself a favor and make sure you get that 100% crit rate and stop inhaling any form of copium when you miss a crit or did not do enough damage just because your crit rate was not it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. The third tip is to speed tune her to move right after your supporters. Your speed should be tuned to move right after them because in the off chance you get debuff or be incapacitated, your supporters can remove that debuff. What good is a damage dealer if they aren't dealing damage, right? For reference, this is my speed tuning. Do not copy pasta. Tune your espers according to your account. That brings me to my fourth tip which is to play Leora as your substitute damage dealer. When drafting your team, there should always be a primary damage dealer and a substitute damage dealer. Her role is to deal damage and provide survivability to the team, be it through her war goddess shield like we mentioned earlier, or her standoff, or her crit rate down. Because Leora brings utility to the team while dealing damage, she should be supporting your primary DPS whose sole purpose is to dish out copious amount of damage and are usually squishy as fuck. Which brings me to my fifth tip for you. If you see your opponent bringing a ton of AP manipulators, 
Do not be afraid to use her S2 first and apply standoff on your team. In case you've forgotten or you're just not aware, standoff makes you immune to AP manipulation. In a way, you will be forcing your opponent to pass the turn and you will get to do all your shenanigans which hopefully ends up in you deleting them as a result. So, we know Leora is amazing, but what about her sister Elaine? If you're wondering about how I built Elaine, check out this short where I explain everything about her under 60 seconds and I'll see you there.